Hey everybody, this is Breaking Day, Breaking Day Models. Alrighty then. This is video 14 for my Portland Steamer, my Blue Jacket. Before I get started on the review of this thing, I've been busy all week. I took a week off. Because I'm going to be out of this trailer probably early next week sometime. I say probably around Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll probably be out of here at my new place. Everything is empty out of here except the contents where I'm sitting at. The stuff behind me and up there, and that's all that's left. Everything else is packed. All my storage facilities back here have been moved, and I got it cost me some money. But with it, like everything else nowadays, it costs you money. So that ain't the issue. The issue is I no, no issue at all. I got everything out of there. I got everything empty out of my storage facilities. I got them sent it at, at the house. Some stuff went back to the big storage. Now I get moved in, I'll go to the big store, take everything out of there, and put it at the house. Now that way, I can get away from that big, huge payment I got to pay. I pay almost five hundred dollars a month just to keep my keep my stuff, keep my house. I got my furniture, my riding mowers, my appliances, models, uh, mechanical equipment, a lot of stuff. My whole home and uh, oh, everything I got since birth, uh, which I still had, is in there. That's my life. No one's going to get it but me. So all I can come out of there is go to my house and I'll stop payment and all that stuff. I'll save you some money. It just had a sacrifice, guys, living just on Ken Camp. You know, it beats the streets, you know. It really does. It beats the streets. I will not live out in the streets. If I had to live in an area that's going to put me out in the streets, I'll just pack my seat bag and go somewhere else. There's got to be somewhere else better. So... Like my dad told me a long time ago, never live in a place that's going to bankrupt you. If it starts bankrupt you, it's time to get the hell out and go somewhere else. I first moved to Ohio from California. This place was 50 years behind times. Oh, yeah. I came out here. I thought I was living at Mayberry RFD without Andy Griffin. I told my my friend and my ex-wife, she, she passed away before I married Ruthie. I sold my house on the beach, my boat, and my whole works. Pulled up my anchor, gone away, came out here. This place was destitute. I told Brenda, what the hell have you made me do? I said, this place is destitute. But things picked up. As long as you got a trade, you can go anywhere. Like the same thing, you know, land block and stuff like that. I worked in Double Valentine for like 25 years. We got a pension there. Plus the naval pension. So scary here they got coming. Got some good shape, good shape there. Look at plates. But uh, like I'm saying, guys, I got, I got all my moves, everything is has been moved. The last thing I want to get out of here is what you see, what you see, it plus me. That's it. Okay, we'll get back to the Portland steamer. I've been working on this thing off and on now for about a week and a half now. I got a lot done like, compared to what was last time. I got all the cabin walls, saloon deck, lady saloon, side walls all done. You'll see it on the stills. I already cut the stacks out with that brass tube that I gave you. And I made the main mist right there. And I got the skylights on there. I got the boat, boat chocks on there. All the Davids on there. The, the, the pilot house, the, uh, the bridge, is not glued down because why? I got to put sheathing on there. And I got put, as you notice from the photographs on the very front here, on the saloon deck right here. This would be the saloon deck. I had to finish the sheathing right here. I just started this, so I'm gonna have the sheathing down there and get that painted. And uh, that's all done. I was gonna go ahead and start the starboard side like I did the port side. Then when that's done, finish up the officer's country up here and add my skylight that's aft with the railings on it. Add my funnels. Go the last thing I'll do I'll add that that walking beam. That steam engine. This is a nice kick, guys. I had this thing about five years. I've been working on this thing off and on since five years since I lost my house. And uh, believe me, a bottle like this it, it if you work on it it's just this prefab kick compared to the old one. Now the old one was a the frustration level at building that was very, very high. A lot of people actually shelved the model, and a lot of people didn't buy them. Like blue jackets were stuck, got ship captures 
realize that they uh, made a kit that people can't tackle. Only people with well experienced blowers. And uh, what I'm trying to say, guys, is that Blue Jacket Ship Craft is like model ship ways. They give, they got pre they give you a pre shaped pre carved hull that's pretty well accurately carved. But for those who desire accuracy, there's templates in there too. So you have that hull is all shaped and out. You're ready for the structures like decks. Now, the old kit, now listen up now. The old kit ain't nothing compared to this one here, as I showed the inbox review. A video of the introduction, also video one and two, how the model was built. They gave you a pre carved hull and a box of fittings, no photo etch. That was back in 1983 82. Photo etch was not commercially available at the time. But Lauren Perry of Gold, Gold, Star, Gold Star Models, he was actually the godfather and the grandfather of the photo etch. So he was just an individual model that, that developed. Photo etch and photo etch is more or less anything you need for that. You have to put together. Back in the old days, there was no email. You had to write to them. You had no computers. You had to write to them and send a letter back, tell you how much it costs, and send it again back. Everything done by mail back in the day. Make a long story short, get back to the kit. The old kit, I mean, the frustration is very high, is that they gave you a pre carved hull. Now, for your, south, for your side sheathing, deck house walls, Hurricane decks, saloon decks, all these decks and everything is going to be traced out. They give you seven sheets. Now, seven sheets of 12 inch by 36 inch plywood, one inch thick. Most plywoods right there, you got to take, you got to trace profile decks, all decks, side shares, saloon deck walls, hurricane deck walls, all is going to be traced on plywood. And it's going to be cut out with a jigsaw. After it's shaped and, and, and sent into shape, ready for installation, that ain't nothing. The work has not started yet. Each one of these side walls right here, you've got to cut out those wedges. So you can make, you've got to take a straight edge, make a horizontal line this way, a horizontal line this way, in the same dimensions, the height of the, of the windows, locate your windows. And believe you me, you go through a lot of these before it's said, said and done. Double eleven blades. They'll pop on your break. Then you gotta file them out and build them up. Very high. A lot of people shelf the kit, so I'm not gonna build this. Uh, I bought my skills out of the snuff, and I almost screw this thing up. Cost money. Either I'll sell it or I just shelve it and get the experience and build it later. A lot of people do. Most nowadays, a lot of people do that anyway because they never, they never build stuff like this before. And it's on eBay. Guys like me buy them. Okay, I got some stills loaded up on this thing, and uh, I'll show you the stills, and we'll get back to me and finish up the video. Okay, thank you, boy. Let's get these stills on the on the way here. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the pictures here. Okay, I hope you guys like those. Okay, I got a lot to do and things to do right now. And uh, the next video will probably probably be live action tonight. I'm 
I'm gonna start work, we'll work on the starboard side, like get all the davits on there, go chocks, and vents on there and stuff. And, and uh, we'll have some, definitely have a, a live action night. So guys, stay, stay tuned for that. And uh, probably be about the live, live, last live action I'll have in your trailer until I get moved in. So, today I'm gonna take it easy today, and uh, I gotta do laundry, and I gotta go to the store, get some chow, get some food. And uh, tomorrow, Tonight, I'll probably take out a few models and clean them up, get them, get them ready to send to the house. But it was going successful. Take my time, slow, no rush. Thank God I ain't as hot as it was last time. Okay, this is Frank and Dave, Frank and Dave Model signing off. Take care of Mama. Take care of the little ones. Stay focused when you drive. Watch your surroundings. Spend wisely. Get yourself a kit. Build one. Frank and Dave, Frank and Dave Model signing off. Catch you guys on this video.